so guys welcome back to the channel and we are here again for another deck tech with a standard format with outlaws of thunder junction and we knew that already the archetypes are somewhat established but still we uh, continue to explore some interesting deck builds or let's say some variants of some of the current uh, top tier decks and for today's uh, deck feature we go with this build which we call as the Ors of Agro uh, one of the uh, top finisher in the tournament that's they call as a Champions Cup area qualifier in Japan so we know that uh, most of the Japanese are very uh, innovative in terms of uh, making uh, some list out of uh, existing archetypes and what I like about this is the inclusion is somewhat like similar to the Convoke or they say the Boros Tokens deck but it goes well with uh, having also the access of black to make sure that your mid game and late game contains very powerful creatures so we go with this list it uh, contains 23 creatures 3 enchantments 7 instants 1 uh, 2 points walkers and 25 lands along with 15 card sideboard and we're going to check on the card choices here that's also why it is called Orso of Ogro but I think it's more of somewhat like a or so uh, value cards with uh, creating also with a lot of tokens out of this uh, deck build so starting off with uh, this one we go with the one drop the novice inspector so it's like uh, initially like uh, just a typical one to cast one two with a clue in wherein you get to sacrifice a tether on to the card uh, you can think that it is more of an utility creature because it goes well with uh, having you to uh, go with an early curve and gets you to draw cards uh, later on if you uh, in case of drawn um, maybe in the 6th uh, 7th turn now with this uh, list that goes with the 1 drop it next uh, follows with this uh, several uh, 2 drops with uh, specific purposes of course then uh, we go first with uh, the caustic bronco so I've also used this one in my <coughs> Gulgari arrow deck so this bronco attacks you will drop a library and then put it in your hand and then you will lose life equal to that uh, mana value but in case that it is saddled you when you get to saddle it for 3 uh, 3 power or total of uh, 3 power pictures you get to have your opponent loses that much life instead so with this somewhat like of a curve in this deck you make sure that you can still get a good uh, attacker on turn 2 and also gets you to draw cards and also can become a source of uh, life loss total against your opponent so in this case we have another utility card in the two drop with the deep cavern bat so the bat has, uh, says already what its purpose in several of the decks that is reflected both in esper in uh, rakdos in golgari and also here in the orso decks now for the three drops that uh, somewhat did say as go with this curve with the deck are your four copies of uh, sanguine evangelist which can also create a token of 1-1 uh, black but creature token as it enters the battlefield or dies in the same time with that power in total it can basically saddle the bronco on that curve and the battle cry is also important here is that you could also get you to attack and pop up your dudes with this uh, casting of your curve and also we have uh, three copies of lord skeeter it can also get you to create 1-1 one, one black rat creature tokens at the beginning of combat and the bonus here is that it can also get you to exile up to one target card from an opponent's graveyard so any graveyard shenanigans are already answered in the pre-board and the main deck of this uh, deck build because of course generating tokens would not only get you to a good way to uh, widen up your board from one creature but also making sure that your opponent's graveyard are in check by exiling those uh, necessary cards now this is the somewhat important part of this deck as you can get to curve out early on and uh, maybe check off your opponent's cards for any relevant threats and also get you a good creature that can do a battle cry and have a good chunk of damage whenever it attacks and the bonus here is that your four drops would 
normally act here like a utility and also a sufficient creature on its own because of the hostile investigator the example and the main deck one copy would also get you two tokens whenever your opponents or players discard one or more cards so it the the field having your opponent discard a card and uh, having them one less uh, card in hand by also getting a 4-3 attacker and then we also we have three copies of shouldered which is of course a very good four drop in this kind of deck which punishes crit opponents whenever they draw a card by having them uh, lose two life now for this uh, creature lineup it is then followed by uh, the only enchantment in the deck which can also produce a creature on its own by creating this 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance and that whenever you are able to hard cast this you can put counters on each of your creatures control and then untap them at your beginning of your end step so that followed with uh, the deck is of course your utility spot removals because of course we have black and we don't need access to those efficient cards to make sure that your opponents would really not establish a good creature board on its own where you also dominate, uh, dominate them with uh, cards and tokens from uh, Lord Skeeter and uh, we have a copy of uh, cut down in the main deck four copies of go for the throat and the utility pile on that can be also used to convoke it uh, makes sure that you can also destroy planeswalkers but also get you a good bonus of surveil to to make sure that your next two draws are very much uh, the efficient cards needed for that certain matchup and of course the only planeswalker you know, the veil with good utility of uh, sacrificing your opponent's creature and also having them discard the card and with the hostile investigator in play it also makes sure that you can create these tokens of uh, clue tokens whenever one or more players discard a card now for the land let's just uh, do a quick rundown of course white black is now very supported with the reprint of the concealed courtyard which is now standard legal and of course token producers and manlands are also needed in this deck so we have three copies of mirex that can generate this uh, production might artifact creature tokens and also restless fortress from possible rain which can also get you to have a one four attacker that uh, whenever it attacks defending player loses two life and you will gain two life and it's followed then of course by channel lands iganjo and takinuma along with of course basic lands of planes and swap now for the sideboard as you can see here we have uh, several specific uh, matchup uh, in the meta game that we need to bring in so best examples here are copies of pest control against boros convoke we have also shadow Shepherd, which can kill off uh, any tokens of your opponents by the cleave shadows adventure spell and uh, knockout blow would also be best against the mono red since mono red is still coming to do with the comeback here as well as the black uh, red green versions of the pump uh, decks then we have a uh, picture of the season against mid-range and control which can also generate uh, tokens on its own and can also get you good card advantage if you have the most life or are tied for the most life and uh, another mid-range matchup or control matchup card that can also goes to prevent counter spells are copies of your event interrupter which can also exile target spell and uh, it becomes plotted and plotted spells or spells your opponents cast from graveyards or from exile cost two more to cast and also good flash and flying attacker on its own and for the other we have of course for the control we have a duress in the sideboard to go well with your bats additional destroy evil for maybe for the esper matchup you can kill off raffin you can kill off wedding announcements and other enchantments or maybe even an opposing shouldered and of course an added cut down for the aggro matchups which we need of course to have a sufficient uh, spot removal while we also go with our curve uh, we know that uh, most of our creatures aren't that really uh good with uh, spot removals there is also weak for those cheap uh, burn spells and uh, we need also to establish uh, our board and uh, make sure that their board presence would also not de uh, be developed and last but not the least we here with the mana value with average 2.71 surprisingly as you can see here we have uh, some four drops here but with this kind of deck uh, set up i think uh, sufficient already is going with the uh, three and four mana in your battlefield and the mana cost distribution we have 25 for black uh, white is 17 
white producers is 21 with black is 20 it's pretty much even uh, despite the 25 lands and uh, with the good help of the reprint of the courtyard we make sure that our curve early on would not really be affected we, we should uh, be able to avoid uh, ping damage as uh, possible with this card and uh, later on can be also be efficient in your mana and uh, your deck contents or tokens for extra cards to represent the effects of course we have a bat token here from the uh, Sangha Evangelist we have a clue token uh, night token for the virtue pression might for the uh, mirex from Lord Skeeter's tokens we have a rat and vampire token from the preacher of the schism so overall I think this deck would really be a good way for you to have a variance of an aggro deck which can also I think would uh, be still we will position to the current uh, meta game. I think this uh, deck has finished in the top four of the event. The event had 59 players, I think, and it was really, really a good record to have this uh, deck archetype featured in this uh, today's uh, video for our channel. So, in any case, do you need to discuss something of this build, or you have uh, some similar? Uh, interactions on this while grinding on MTG Online or MTG Arena just let me know in the comments below so we can have a good discussion of this or for other needed changes in the main deck and, and in the sideboard so I think that's pretty much it for now guys thank you for checking this one we have also aggro from Champions Cup Arena uh, area qualifier from Japan for today's uh, standard deck feature with Outlaws of Thunder Junction don't forget to like subscribe and uh, see you guys on the Thank you.